Hi, George Bruno here with you, also known as the Sultan of Silver, with just a few beard musings today. One of the things that I think about is that beards get you respect, but they don't get you dates. I have found that ever since I grew a beard, a big beard, that I'm not even attractive to the women that were in my life prior to that. It's kind of interesting how the girls that knew me when I was clean shaven do not like this at all. New gals that I meet like it. I attract women who like guys with beards. It's kind of interesting. Men will always like the beard, especially guys with other beards. And the jokes about just every beard joke you can imagine, every beard meme just becomes a living beard meme. You could be standing in a convenience store and, uh, you know, somebody with a smaller beard comes up and kind of does this to you. It's, it's, it's kind of funny how that happens. And, you know, the joke is that, the, you know, whenever two beards meet, the, the bigger beard gets the right of way. And whenever I'm in a group of people and I see somebody with a beard bigger than mine, I come up and say, you know, i got to show respect for the bigger beard and I shake their hand or whatever. And everybody gets a laugh out of that. It's kind of fun. Beards get respect. Because guys who grow beards know how much patience it takes to do this. Now, when my beard was smaller, this, was, this is kind of an interesting thing. When my beard was smaller, I'd be sitting at a bar, my favorite pub, and a woman would come up to me and as if it would be like the first time that I ever heard it. In fact, pretty much when my beard was like that, it's my business card, but can you see that right there? When my beard was like that, a woman would come up to me and say, hey, stay thirsty, my friend. Okay, I get it, Dos Equis. I'll take that, that's cool. That's funny. And then as it got bigger, like this past holiday season, I'd be sitting at the bar and somebody would come up to me. I'm sitting with some friends at a bar and a woman comes up and says, hey, Santa, I've been a good girl all year. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. You know, nice. Hey, I'm George, how are you? And then she'd walk away and then friends of mine would say, dude, do you realize what just happened? A girl was like, you know, making a move on you. I said, I know. It was kind of interesting. So you go from being Stay Thirsty, My Friend, Ozeki's Guy, to being Santa Claus, to being a wizard, to, you know, whatever the, the trendy thing is going on. But the reality is that you're going to attract a different kind of woman when you have a big beard. And I know some people that just do not like this beard. The girlfriends, lady friends that I have, like I said, that like me clean shaven, do not like this at all. They're just not into it. And I love them. I'll do anything for them, except shave my beard. So when you grow a beard, you learn to adapt to different things. You attract a different type of person. You wear different kinds of clothing. I find that I'm buttoning my top button more, things like that. I'm looking at myself in the uh, monitor here. I look, I, I look different. Sometimes I'm walking by a, a store and I look in the window and I think to myself, who's that guy looking back? And I go, oh, that's me. Because I'm really, it hasn't sunk in yet that my beard is huge. It hasn't even sunk in that I got gray hair yet. Like most guys, we still think we have dark hair and biceps and all that kind of stuff. So, And that's, for the most part, I'm trying to get all that stuff back, although I let it go for a long time. Beards are definitely something that changed your life. Uh, you have to care for them. And when you care for your beard, I always say this to my clientele that sit in my chair, a well-shaped, well-groomed beard is the new clean cut. Did you hear me? A well-groomed, well-shaped beard is the new clean cut. You can get away with almost anything when the beard is perfectly shaped. And remember, it's hard to do it by yourself. You need that fresh set of eyes. I said that early on in the videos. It's very difficult to kind of do it. When I trim my own beard, the reality is one side is perfect. And I'm holding up a mirror and holding the trimmers in the other hand, and I'm trying to finagle it. And I've my beard would be about two to three inches longer than it is now if I didn't mess with it as much as I have in the past seven, eight months. August 7th of this year is going to be one year for me. I actually got it down to the 7th. 
So we're going to see what happens. Like I said, I'm growing it to my third butt and I want to keep it long, narrowish. I want to be able to braid it. I want to be able to put a rubber band on it. I want to be able to put a Punisher skull bead on this. I was, let me look in the monitor again. Um, I was messing around with my soul patch and just kind of putting that like this and then putting a bead on it. And that was kind of interesting, like a little skull bead right here. And that's obviously, that's not your everyday work look. That's when you're going to the biker bar or going to a party or something. So you have to kind of figure out. I'm not one that just has a beard. I like doing stuff with it. I'm not into glitter beards. Glitter and beards should not be said in the same sentence. Can I hear an amen, somebody? Seriously. If you want to do a pirate beard, go for it. That's cool. You want to put a rubber band on it or a tie or be like Xanda and put a ribbon. That's that's cool, you know, but this glitter stuff, that ain't happening here. All right. Glitter beards. Those guys are not watching this video. I guarantee that. Glitter beard guys. Anyways, any questions about beards? Do you realize I spend sometimes up to an hour answering emails of guys asking beard questions. Where can I get my beard trim? What should I do? It's too curly. It's too straight. And I'm so happy to do that. So happy to do that. Anyways, beard musings. George Bruno, also known as the Sultan of Silver. You can find me on Instagram at George A. Bruno. On Facebook, my business page, George Bruno Luxury Hair Experience. And of course, the YouTube channel, Gray Bailey. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it.